YouTube. Welcome out. Thank you for joining me. Welcome back. Episode eight of our Summer of Fun series. And seriously, nobody came up with a better name for this series rather than Summer of Fun. Like, we're just going to stick with that. Anyway, it's a brand new week. Call of Duty. We got a brand new aftermarket part. This one for the Basilisk, the Jack Gunslinger kit. So we got it equipped. We're going to take it in the game. Let's go. So this kit, uh, is it fully automatic? It's not fully automatic when it's not packed, but you get a faster fire rate at the expense of damage. So we'll kind of see how that's going to work out. Let's go ahead and get our legendary tool, flawless crystal, all these good things thrown on here. I'm going to hold off on the MAGA holding for now. Get our scorcher and our crystal on that. And then let's head off into tier three, see if maybe we can do a triangle. I have a quick word from this video's paid sponsor, Messy Modding. Our Call of Duty service company, they go in and unlock camos for you, including Interstellar and Borealis. They have pre-made accounts, nuke surfaces, schematics, and more. Use code COOL to save 5%. Use the link in the description down below. And nobody is swarming the tier 3 zone, so maybe we can get a triangle done. And see if this thing has any interesting pack-a-punch abilities. But we're just going to take it, uh, we're going to take it right into the tier 3 zone and see how it performs off the rip because why bother with tier one or tier two you already know it's going to kill zombies <laughs> now we are recording this episode live on stream today something that i don't do very often but i'm having a pretty fun stream today so i figured you know they all deserve it they're they've been awesome people today and one more right over here Okay, so we're pack a punch three, and no, it's not fully auto. And oh yeah, we're definitely gonna need the mag of holding. Now you can fire it at 400, so I guess as fast as your trigger finger is, that's that's how fast you can fire it. Okay, I'm not impressed off the rip here, but I think this is gonna be more of a like a boss, a boss killer, I, I would think, rather than a zombie killer. Um, Robert, we're not making the down counter 39 after multiplayer. <laughs> we did go over and unlock all the challenges for this in multiplayer. They were super easy this week. Um, basically got it all done in one match. Technically two for us because we had to go back and do the headshots because I forgot to track those challenges. So I thought I had them done. Um, but it was more, it was pretty much one full match. Total time played was like one full match. Oh, now these things, they're very accurate. I mean, the gun is very accurate. There's not really any kick to it at all. It's doing a good job. We don't have any dead shot, nothing like that right now. Now, an update. Now, we're still on our first operator for this, uh, for this series. And like I said, we're working all these up to level 1000 is the goal. And we are at level 340 with this operator at the start of this match. So we're getting there slowly but surely. Let's go ahead and just use this energy mine. That should finish this up. There we go. Let's go up and claim our rewards here. And we were doing uh, one of the matches earlier today and I did this and got like 2,000 essence. Oh, I got 2,000. Is that common? Is it always 2,000 essence? I thought it was like 500 essence. Anyway. All right, what do we got? Oh, everybody's in tier three now. Okay. They all came just a little bit late. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Going the wrong way. Let's let's see if we can find a... Let's see if we can find Omega Abomination. I, I just want to see... I want to see the boss damage to this bad boy. Y'all want to spawn in down here? No? Really? Any other time you're spawning in there? I guess there's no buy station there for you to haunt, huh? All right, it's always 2,000. Okay. Uh, my apologies to anybody watching the video. Like I said, we're doing this live on stream. So like if I talk to stream for a minute and you don't know what I'm talking about, well, I apologize for that, but you can always watch the uh, stream replay. All of my streams are available on YouTube for you to watch later. So go ahead and check them out if you like. I don't think we're going to get a, uh, I don't think we're going to get a mega to spawn anywhere, which is really kind of sad How about the bridge guy here no okay is it too early in the match for a mega abomination what in the world um 
Oh, a bounty. Let's. There we go. That's what we need. That's what we need. Let's get this scorcher flying. Let's go. Now, after the last match, after episode seven, we finally got some things back into our stash. So it was a huge positive. And luckily we came away with some mags of holding. No, he's going to beat us to it. No, nuts and butter. Okay. It's going to be one of those matches. So let's just go do the stronghold then, shall we? There's a couple mimics up on the roof here. Let's see how they like my basilisk. Um, okay, let's go buy some perks. Let's get some dead shot at least. And see if that really makes a very big difference at all for this. The dead shot, give me some jug. Uh, give me this and this. What else? Maybe some quick revive. Not impressed. I am not impressed at all. This might actually be one of the worst. I don't want to say that just yet because we we haven't got to test it out against much other than zombies at the moment so let's wait and see how it does against bosses we get a we did okay against that disciple there but really it i mean it wasn't great like that wasn't fantastic I think we're going to go. All right. I think what we're going to do is I'm going to hang out here. I'm usually don't put cuts in this video, but I'm going to go ahead and just cut until we get to a bounty and I will see you when we get a bounty contract. All right. Still no bounty contracts, but we'll go ahead and we will grab this cargo delivery. I mean, we could do like the spore controls. This is just not a very good weapon for crowd control at all. Not being single fire. I was hoping it would at least become fully auto when it was pack-a-punched, but there was no luck on that. So you're gonna have to really work out your trigger finger here. Uh-oh. Maybe I shouldn't open that box. Oh, sorry, buddy. I'm not trying to do that. I didn't mean to do that to you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Um, go follow me. Cool Hipex on YouTube. No, just kidding. They can't hear me. I, I'm not going to... I've never self-promoted myself like that in a game before. That's just weird. I've had people do it. It's just cringe, man. It's cringe. Don't do it. I learned that, I learned that word from my kids. Cringe. That's so cringe, Dad. Why you got to be cringe, Dad? Um, I just want a bounty contract. That's that's all I want is a bounty contract. I do one bounty contract and I am I'm cool. Or if I just find one mega abomination spawning on the map somewhere. Hey, that's fine by me. I just want to see how this gun does. Anything you want to spawn in down here? I see hell babies. Where's your mother? Hey guys, where's mom? Where's your mom? Where's your mommy? Mom, mom, mommy, mom, mom, mom. Okay. I guess their mother's dead. I don't know. I don't know that these would be any better in Akimbo. Akimbo cuts the damage even more. Yeah, you get two weapons, but it just it cuts it back even more. I'm pretty sure that these guns were much better without this aftermarket part. Like if probably with the snake shots. I don't know that I've, I don't know that I've used it 
Um, chat's telling me to test this on the storm collar. So here we go. We're going to go test it on the storm collar. Let, yeah. I, I don't expect positive things to happen here. All right, here we go. Mr. Stormcaller, where are you, my friend? If any of you out there are looking for somebody to play Modern Warfare Zombies with and to, like, kill Stormcallers when, while you're using a shitty gun, um, just check out our Discord. There's a, there's a link down in the uh, description down below. So check that out. Find somebody to play with. We're at, and maybe you'll even find the Stormcaller while you're at it because I can't find it. Hello, Mr. Stormcaller. Mr. Stormcaller. Hello? I see your minions. Oh my gosh, this is horrible. I can't even kill the zombies in the gas. This is insane. I don't think we got to worry about killing the Stormcaller. Really? And they're just aggressively swiping me while I'm down, too. Listen to these guys. Okay. Um, I think we got our answer on that anyway. Um, we're going to go ahead and scorch her on up out of here. And that's going to be the end of that. Okay, we're going to do this tier 2 bounty, and we'll see how it does against a tier 2 bounty at legendary triple packed. I, I honestly don't even have high hopes. I, I truly don't. I, I can't even one shot a, a, a zombie in the tier 2 zone. So let's see what it takes. Let's see what it takes to do this mangler down here. Yeah, maybe talk. Yeah, Chris says toxic zombies kicking you while you're down. Yeah, you know, maybe I'll just make that the title of the video. Toxic zombies. Oh my gosh. I mean, it did okay. It was like, what, 10 shots, 12 shots? Seems a little bit excessive to me. Oh, look at that. Of course, a bounty spawned when we weren't ready to pick one up. So I think what we need to do is just fly around the tier three zone. We'll find a mega abomination or a bounty contract one way or another. We're going to find it. And we'll put this thing to the ultimate test here. Um, Gixer, it is not a great gun. Somebody did tell me not to waste a scorcher on this gun. What are they? What are they fighting down there? Like, what, what were they shooting? Um, come on. There's, there's no mega abominations on this map. Our scorcher's dead. We're going down. Um, okay. So, I got nothing. I've got no contracts. I've got no mega abominations. I, I've, I've really got nothing. All right, let's give this another lap around here. See if we can get a mega to spawn. Okay. I got a hellhound to spawn. And nothing. Okay. Well. 
I think we are, uh... I think we're gonna dip from this, uh, from this terrible, terrible game here. I know I can find a Mega Abomination in the Dark Ether, so... Let me buy some gear first, maybe? Where's there a buy station? There's one down here. Let's go buy some gear. And then we'll just head to the Dark Aether and we'll do things there because we, we can't do things here. Because that's how broken this game is sometimes. Okay, what do we got? Um... Okay. Um, stow that. Okay. I have one stowed and one equipped. That's good enough. We're gonna go ahead and just head into the dark ether. We'll we'll try it out inside. We'll try it out inside of there. I think all I have is an elder sigil with me too. So this could be interesting. I think that's all I got. Yeah, that's all I got is an Elder Sigil, so... There we go! Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the build up on screen that we're using for this uh, pistol here, and I'll see you when we get in there. Alright, here we are inside the Elder Dark Ether, and we finally have a Mega Abomination here that we can test out this, this gun on. Um... I don't know what to expect here. I do know that I should probably go over and buy some tombstone yeah um this is not this is not okay i i don't feel i don't feel safe um there we go tombstone and i do have a turret circuit i might use it if this was fully autumn okay Okay, we're not doing any damage to this bad boy at all, so... Did I not put that in? How did I not put that in? Um... There we go. Now it's in. I think we're gonna have a, uh, I think we're gonna have a difficult time in, in this Dark Aether. I, I'm not gonna lie. This is not gonna be easy. I, I physically cannot pull the trigger any faster than that. What good does it do me to have a 400 RPM rate of fire when I can't pull my trigger finger that fast? Um... Mindful, I have a, uh, so mindful in the chat says, use your dog bone, maybe. Um, yeah, I have a couple of self-revives at the moment, so not really, not really much reason to use the dog bone right now. If we die a couple of times, then we will. But hopefully we can at least, at least get one contract done. Maybe someday they'll fix these extractors to where they actually work. There we go. Just get Scorcher'd up. I love that you don't have to worry about Scorcher dying anymore. It just gives you so much peace of mind when you're just trying to Scorcher out of a tough situation like that. Alright, last one. There we go. Perfect. And we have, oh my gosh, they're like a seven shot kill, even hitting headshots. Uh, we'll take that and that. Oh, there's a flawless crystal in there too. Um, I need to replace something. Um, shoot. I'm going to have to get rid of something. I honestly don't know what to get rid of. 
Um, I kind of don't want to get rid of any of the things that are currently in my stash right now. Um, I, I don't want to get rid of any of it. I really don't. I truly, truly don't. But I guess it's going to be the dog bone. It's going to have to be the dog bone. That's really, that's all I have to get rid of. And if we have any, uh, wonder weapons here, then... And actually, I don't even know that it's worth... I don't even know that it's worth us even doing another contract right now. I mean, I could replace, like, Pack-a-Punch 2 crystals. Um, but we do also need those as well, so... If those Pack-2 crystals are kind of important... I'm going to check the locked rooms first, and then we'll see if we're even going to bother doing... Um, there's just... It's just a small... Oh, no. Oh, help. Fall down. Let me take this rift and get on out of here. Um, we need to go... That's not where I need to go. I need to go over here. We gotta check the south bedroom. Nothing. And we have one more locked room to check. And then we'll probably do this contract because we're already here. And if we get something really good, we can replace the Pack-a-Punch 2 crystals with it. But I'm not super confident in our chance of survival in this Outlast contract with this gun. So let's, let's find out. This could go either way. Oh, there's a mimic waiting on me. Thermite down there. Uh, it's about 30 bullets or so to 40 maybe to kill a mimic. That's it's definitely a lot. Oh my gosh. Oh, help. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. We're just going to try to keep moving. I, I don't really know. I don't know what else we could possibly do. Uh, there's a down. Um, I think the dog's dead. I think the dog is dead. The dog is dead. Yes, the dog is definitely dead. Um, we have one. We have one self revive left. Uh, we'll use this this Casimir here to get rid of to get rid of some ones we got here. Use this energy mine. Get rid of some more. We're at eighty percent. Um, I don't have any other equipment or anything. All right, 98, 99, 100, let's go. I feel like it's been a long time since we've, uh, what did I accidentally pick up? Really? All right, there we go. And okay, that is a good haul. That is a really good haul. Oh yeah. Very nice. That'll set us up very nice for episode 9. Thank you all so much for tuning in. P.S. Don't use this gun. Don't waste your time unlocking it. I'll see you in the next one. My name's Cole Whip, and I'm out.